If a system board is required, it needs to be installed before any other option modules are fitted. The system board is fitted into this slot here. We'll now give you a step-by-step -step guide on the installation process. The first step for fitting the system board is to loosen the top cover here. This makes access to this unit here much easier. The top section is loosened by undoing the four retaining screws here, here, here and here. With this top section loose we can remove this section here with the three retaining screws here, here and here. With these screws removed we can disconnect the red ribbon cable on the rear and this section is free to come away from the drive. With the four screws removed on the top cover it can be moved up approximately half a centimetre. You can then start to remove the screws on the centre section here and before removing the two lower screws remove the terminal cover here and then loosen the two lower screws. With these screws removed, the centre section can be lifted and disconnected on the grey and red ribbon cables. Gently remove the first grey ribbon cable here. With this unplugged, the top cover can be lifted off. We can then unplug the red ribbon cable here. And the centre section can be removed. Here you see the 690 control section, the system option card that we're about to fit, the fixing kit which is supplied with the system card, and the Parker instruction manuals. The first step in fitting the system card is to turn the control board module upside down. From the fixing kit, take the two small plastic dowels and fit them into the system PCB here. and the second one here. Moving over to the 690 control card, the next stage is to remove the two securing screws here. And here. With a system card fitted, the remove screws are no longer required. Now take the system board and line up on top of the control board. To make this easier, slightly raise the control board structure and slide the plug end of the system board through and gently lower into place. Now turn the control board structure around and align the header plug and socket shown here. Then gently press the two PCBs together. The control and system board must now be fitted into place. From the fixing kit, take the two spacer modules. The metal one here is fitted onto this side to ensure good earth connection between the PCBs. The remaining plastic spacer is fitted on the other side. These should be gently inserted between the two PCBs and then the screws taken and slid through the top holes. The two fixing screws should now be secured as so ensuring the system and control board from the 690 drive are held in place. We're now almost ready to return the control and system cards back onto the AC690 drive. Before we do, the two spacers here and here should be removed. A handy hint is to slide a control screwdriver all the way through and use it to lever out the two spacers. Then the shorter spacers shown here from the fixing kit can be put back into the same holes. Refitting the control section is the reverse of the removal process. Ensure that the fixing hooks are aligned here and here and this connecting part is gently maneuvered through the hole in the PCB at the base.
the red ribbon cable can now be gently plugged back into the top PCB. Ensure it's correctly aligned and gently pushed into place. We can now refix the top plastic cover. With the top cover in place, the grey ribbon cable here can be gently plugged back into the control section. The two lower retaining screws can now be refitted. One here and one here. Put a few turns to tighten these up. The smaller third screw can now be fitted into the top securing hole here. This can be tightened fully home. The terminal cover can now be fitted above the power terminals. It may need a slight bend in the middle to get it into place. With this fitted, we can fully secure the two lower screws. The top cover can now be refixed with the four securing screws. Two lower, one on each side, and two on the top of the cover. With the option cards and system board fitted that are required for your application, the AC690 is ready for installation into your control system, wiring up, and then ready for commissioning. When the commissioning is complete, please ensure that the front lower cover is replaced.